What's poppin' everyone? You got your coach of the Chim Chargers here today with our week three battle of the GBA. Hacks out of our first two weeks, unfortunately. But however, as the saying goes, third time might be the charm. So we're going to be taking on my boy Leo, coach of the Durham Dredigons, and his squad that you can see here is very, very threatening. Uh, he's doing pretty well in the league so far, but let's take a look at his team. He's bringing Mega Medicham, Thunders, Incarnate, Aloma Mola, Garchomp, Darkrai, and a Marsh Shadow. So for sure, a lot of these, a lot of these Pokemon are just huge threats overall. Darkrai and Marsh Shadow are his two Ubermons, not to be taken lightly, of course, very threatening. And um, we are, of course, bringing this squad here without Ho-Oh. Um, I'm sad to leave Ho-Oh behind, but uh, it's just a Mon that has not been putting in work for me. And I'm still not comfortable with this team. I did announce the trades that I would be making, uh, that, which take an effect in week four, of course. But I still have to use the OG squad for week three. Um, so I, I will be trading away Ho-Oh for Lugia, Smeargle for Empoleon, and Haxorus for Umbreon. And it will take into effect in week four. But for week three, of course, which is this week, I got to I gotta work with uh, what I got so far. So I decided not to bring Ho-Oh because that was just really sort of crippling me with the Stealth Rocks and trying to prioritize defogging over actually um, you know, trying to play the game uh, the way that I want to. So I'm bringing a Mega Deancey. First time I'm bringing this Pokemon, I think it's going to be pretty nice versus his team. As you can see by his team, he actually has no Fairy Switches. He opted not to bring Ferrothorn, which I think he did have on his team. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I have also the Keldeo, which is nice. It's going to be a choice Scarfer for the team, which I think could be pretty nice to outrun his faster Mons like Darkrai and Marshadow. We have my Giratina Origin, which I think is just a great Mon overall. I think it was really sort of hindered by the fact that I had to run Defog for Ho-Oh. But now that I'm not bringing Ho-Oh, I can actually run a Giratina. This, this one has four attacks, so I think it'll uh, play a better role, or uh, I guess a, a more effective role, in the sense that it doesn't have to try to defog. Um, I have a Lolan Muck here, which is great. It's a Fizz Def Lolan Muck, which is really solid in dealing with Marshadow because he can take close combats really well from it. Uh, I also have Raikou here, which is solid overall to check the Thunderous. And finally, a Bronze Song for the purpose of setting up rocks. It also has Toxic to help me wear down stuff like a Lomomola. And as you can see by his team, he has no Toxic immunities, so it could be really helpful overall. His potential leads are probably going to be either the Medicham to get off a Fake Out or try to get that early Mega. Perhaps the Garchomp for Rocks or the Thunderous, which can have Prankster or just have momentum with Voltage or U-Turn. Um, of course, his potential or his only Stealth Rocker is going to be the Garchomp. And my potential leads are probably either going to be the Mega Deancey so I can get an early Protect off and um, you know try to sort of scout what he might lead with. Potentially, if he could lead with Darkrai or even like basically everything on his team except for the Aloma Mola can be a potential lead perhaps. Um, but I think there are some that are more likely than others. But Mega Deancey is a pretty good lead because I do have Protect as I can scout whatever he decides to lead with. I have Scarf Keldeo, which is another decent lead. I mean, not really versus Loma Mola, but it's faster than everything. And maybe Bronzong for Rocks, but I decided here to lead off with my Mega Deancey. The reason is because I do have Protect so I can actually scout whatever he decides to lead with. And it's just pretty nice overall in case he leads Garchomp where I can actually threaten him a bit. And it's a really fast mod as well with Magic Bounce. Um, so... Yeah, I guess my overall game plan was to try to get up rocks, get that Alumola toxic, because if that Pokemon, because that, that's the only fat mod on his team, if that thing gets toxic, then we're in a really good position to sort of uh, pressure him a lot, because he's not being able to stay in with Alumola when it's toxic, due to it being worn down over time, and him switching out on our, like, powerful attacks and stuff can be really detrimental to the health of his Pokemon, so uh, let's just go ahead and start this game and see how it goes, and, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what went down in this match here. And as you can see, he decides to challenge me, of course. This may or may not be his first mistake, as he does decide to lead with the Mega Medicham, which is one of the potential leads that I figured he would want to lead with. I lead with Mega Deancey, so I decide here, instead of actually staying in, I'm going to switch out into my Bronzong, as he actually also pulls a switch here. I was scouting for the Bullet Punch on Mega Medicham, so I went into my Fizz Def Bronzong. Now he goes for the Scald with the Loma Mola, as he dodges my first Toxic, right? Goes for another Scald here, and... Uh, Gets a burn on that as he dodges my second Toxic. So already two Toxics I've missed right now. Like, imagine that. This game is really out here to uh, get me. It, like, it's, really, it's basically hacks me out of the GBA right now. But fi finally, okay, so he crits me on the Scald. I finally get the third Toxic off. And um, I'm burned though. I'm really weak. He decides to switch out here into Mega Medicham as I actually get up my rocks. So even though I got like badly hacked in these first few turns, I am still able to get the Toxic on the Lumamola and get my rocks up. So, pretty nice overall, I guess. 
Bronzong has to go down here. Unfortunately, it would have been much healthier and probably not in this situation if I did get off the first Toxic. But I'll take what I can get right now. So I'm a little bit more less Toxic. Rocks are up on his side. I go into Giratina Origin, force this thing out, and hit him up with the Shadow Ball here. There's a, a little bit of damage here. Not, not too bad, not too bad. So he actually doubles out of Darkrai into um, a Loma Mola as I switch out here into my Mega Deancey. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, this uh, this Loma Mola definitely is uh, not favorable for me to stay in on because it's very, it's really bulky and it could just scald me like he does versus my Keldeo as I switch into that. Now, actually predicting him to be scared of my uh, of potentially a sub CM Keldeo, even though I'm scarfed, I actually double out here into my Giratina Origin. Now the reason is because I wanted to, I wanted to see if he would you know for, be forced out or what he would react uh, against with Keldeo. And he actually reveals that he's Psychic, so I'm like, okay, not too bad. I'll go for the Shadow Ball here as they actually click Psychic again. And this is great because the Toxic that we actually got off finally on the third time, of course, is able to wear down and knock out the Alamomola. So that's beautiful. He's going to go Garchomp here. Okay, so I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not going to stay in with Giratina. This thing is uh, still pretty valuable. He's going to actually get up Rocks here as I go hard Mega DNC. And now I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve here. Because I, I see, I look at this team and I see there are no Moonblast switches. So I'm going to go for the Moonblast here. He's not the Rosalie Berry or anything to resist the Fairy type attack. And I'm able to knock him out, so that's great. He goes into Mega Medicham, so I'm actually going to scout for the Bullet Punch here, um, which I did not see before. And he actually does reveal to have the Bullet Punch. Um, so I decide here, okay, I'm like, maybe he might predict Giratina to come in and go for Zen Headbutt. But he actually goes for Drain Punch, uh, which is why I actually went to Alolan Muck. I went to Alolan Muck because I thought he would either Bullet Punch or Zen Headbutt predicting Giratina. Um, but he actually Drain Punches, which is a pretty good play overall. Um, he goes for the Drain Punch once again as I click Recycle, just to see if he wants to switch out or something, because I do have Recycle on my Alolan Muck, keeping it healthy and stuff. So I am going to switch out here into my Hacks new Giratina Origin, the Pokemon that's been hacked in Week 1 and 2 as he goes to the Drain Punch and it's not going to affect this thing. And he's going to be forced out here into his Darkrai as I go out for the Shadow Ball. Now, I think somebody hacked my uh, damage calculator because it said that I would knock it out with Shadow Sneak. Unfortunately, it did not. So I actually refreshed my damage calc and then it showed it that it did less damage. So I, I think there's some uh, something going on with my damage calc. But um, unfortunately, because that was max attack, I, it, 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 the damage calc said it would knock it out, but it didn't. So I don't know, maybe it's a glitch with the damage calculator or something, but I actually talked to Leo after the game about that. But yeah, I go Keldeo here and just pick off the Darkrai. He actually had the Ice Beam going first, so he was revealed to be Scarfed. Um, but he brings in Thunderous. I'm going to be switching out here into my Raikou as he goes right for the Wild Charge and gets hurt with a Recoil. So we now know that he's a physical Thunderous. And I'm just going to go ahead and fire off a Thunderbolt. He has no switch into, the, into this thing. As he goes for the Crunch and gets a crit on my Raikou. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter too much because... My Raikou is at the end of the day still alive. I can go right for the Thunderbolt and knock it out. And he's going to bring in his Marsh Shadow. This thing is a big a big threat for sure. His uh, other of the two Uber Pokemon still alive. Gonna knock me out here with the Spectral Thief. As I go into my Alolan Muck, which is designed to beat Marsh Shadow 1v1 due to its physical bulk. I'm a Fizdiff Alolan Muck, like I said. And um, I'm just gonna go here for the Recycle, get my 50% uh, Berry back. And I decide here to stay in. He goes for the Drain Punch, it's going to be wearing me down a bit as I actually, um, you know, eat up my berry with the uh, with the nice uh, gluttony ability, go right for the Poison Jab. I'm trying to get a Poison on this thing so that I can actually wear it down over time, but unfortunately I don't get that. I decide here to sack off my Mega DNC and he goes right for the Drain Punch to, uh, of course, get me really weakened and then pick me off with a Bullet Punch on this turn. But, however, I do have Keldeo and I have a really sort of... Uh, Secret weapon in the back here. I got that nice tech with the toxic scarf toxic So I'm gonna be hitting him up with that as he goes to the drain punch and uh, This is a, a nice little trick up my sleeve, right? As you can see I'm gonna be going back into my Alolan muck and you already know what I'm about to do I'm about to save the environment right here in this video. I'm going to uh, take this drain punch Pretty well, right? He actually got the crit with drain punch on my Keldeo So he's wasted his crit already with the drain punch I'm going to keep clicking that that uh, that recycle. Basically recover, but recycle, right? And um, because I got because I got the toxic on him, he is in a uh, he's in a bit of a predicament as you can see because I can keep clicking recycle, I can keep showing why I care about this world and uh, get my health back up as he is getting worn down more and more over time. And um, 
you already know, Alola Muck has been the MVP since GBA Season 7. It uh, definitely helped my differential due to hacks in Week 1. And now, we're going to go ahead and wear down this Mega Medicham with the poison that Arkeldio gave it with the Recycle. We're going to just go ahead here, wear it down more and more over time. He's relentlessly clicking Drain Punch. He's really hoping to get that crit, but he already got like a crit. He already got a crit on my Bronzong. He already got a crit on my Raikou, on my Keldeo, even though the, those didn't matter. He's been getting crits. He's been getting toxic dodges, but guess what? We got here our slime, Alolan Muck, well-trained Pokemon. It knows me like I know it. It's been on my team for a long time right now, and uh, it's never let me down. Alolan Muck has never, ever let me down before. So I'm going to just go ahead and pray that I don't get crit here. Stay in and keep clicking that recycle. Mega Medicham is getting worn down more and more over time. It's getting worn down to the point where I think it's going to actually get knocked out after a couple more Toxics, assuming of course we don't get crit. And uh, we don't get crit here. Um, the damage rolls of course are showing that, uh, you know, we're getting a little bit healthier and we're getting a little bit more weakened. So the damage roll of course is probably like 40 something to 50 something. So definitely something to note there. Um, he's going to go for the Drain Punch once again. Weakened a bit more back down to red HP. Gonna go ahead and recycle here one more time. And, uh, you know, of course, getting that health back. And he's gonna get knocked out here with the poison damage. The last Pokemon is gonna be that Marshadow. Now, like I mentioned before, my Alolan Muck is Fizz Def, so it is designed to beat Marshadow 1v1. It takes the close combat really well, so it shows me that Marshadow does not have a choice banned, so he might have had an item that would not want to lock himself into anything. And because it doesn't have that pure power ability that Medicham has, we are able to take it a lot better. And we can go ahead and recycle here, and I know for a fact that Marshadow gets knocked out by a knockoff at minus 3. So I'm actually going to go for the knockoff here on potentially his third close combat, as he actually reveals the sub. So I'm in a really safe position right now. We take the close combat, which does bring him down to minus 3 defense and spdef. And now we're going to knock him out with the knockoff. And that is going to be GG at his MV. And we do see the spooky plate at the end of the game. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. So pretty solid game overall for sure. Um, I mean, like, of course, those first two toxic misses really got me uh, riled up in the beginning. I actually screamed at my DS. I was like, there's no way this is happening. I'm like, no. Uh, but yeah, like we actually came through even after that. Like we got the toxic off. We got the stealth rocks up. Even though we had bronze on basically gone. We, we were playing like 5v6 in the beginning just because of... Um, I guess sort of the, um, the hacks that we were getting in the beginning too, but yeah, like I'm just so glad that we actually got this win because um, you know we needed it for sure, uh, especially since even before our trades were active, we got the win, um, and our trades will be active for week four. So I'm excited to use those new mons that I mentioned at the beginning, as well as in the last video that I sort of showed showcased the mons that I was trading away and what I was bringing on board. Excited to use Lugia, excited to use Empoleon and Umbreon as well. I think they'll really offer a lot of value. But, um, but yeah, we got a win here, so that's really nice overall with the team that I was actually feeling super uncomfortable with, and I'm sure you guys have noticed that as well. It's another reason I just that I didn't decide to bring Ho -Oh in this match because I knew that I was gonna get chipped down by rocks, I knew that I was gonna get hacks and chipped down and stuff, so it was gonna be another of the same stories as the last two weeks, but didn't bring that. I was able to use a Giratina with four attacks, I think it played a better role this time, and the other Amans on the team sort of helped us out too, as well. And we came through. Alolan Muck is always is always an MVP. It's such a great mod. And I do recommend anybody who wants to draft it to definitely, most certainly draft it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to check out Leo. We have some really great battles for sure. Like that Reg Ice battle from the APA. It was a really close one that I'm sure you all would want to check out if you haven't seen it. Um, really close games. He was also say saying that he was really excited about this game as well. So yeah, be sure to check that out. We, we got a clean win here. Uh, and we'll definitely continue this win streak. I think um, you know we're, on, I think we're off the tilt. I mean, like the hack, like the GBA is still out to get us for the hacks and stuff. But um, you know, this this league is definitely hacking me quite a bit. But I think we can. Um, I think I think we're off the tilt. I think those two short on lives, and just a nice fresh look at this um, at the team that we're gonna be getting, uh, the new the new Pokemon that we're gonna get for the team is gonna help us out a lot. And I think we're on the right track. So. Yeah, once again, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And um, that's going to be it. So, peace.